Fantasy City Seven Brothers. A very special show this evening. We have the wielder of the Hattori Hattori Hanzo. He is the lyrical swordsman. He is the legendary word artist, broadcaster, musician, intellectual freedom fighter, Rasta warrior. In the house, sisters and brothers. Only for a short time, but in the house, nevertheless, sisters and brothers. Our wonderful warrior elder, Muta Baruka. Greetings, uh, brother Muta Baruka. Mm-hmm. All right, let's sort that out as well. Oh. Indeed. So, yeah, and um, so, yes, uh, brother Muta Baruka, welcome once again to the Bowels of Babylon here in the UK, Africa, UK. We want to welcome you. Officially to galaxyafiwi.net, our humble studios here in London. Uh, what brings you to the UK this time, brother um, Baba Muta? Yeah, I was um, invited here by Manuel um, to do two performances, one in Brixton and one in um, Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Plus, we have been doing some book signing, mm-hmm. a book where they just released called uh, Lyrical Swordsman. Mm-hmm. Lyrical Swordsman. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's a book about the two programs that you do on the radio for the 30 years and the impact that it have on the world. Mm-hmm. And when I say the world, I mean the world. It was done by uh, two um, students from um, Vienna University. Mm-hmm. And they, 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 um, they present it as their thesis and the professor, one as a uh, said they should put it in a book. Mm-hmm. So they should ask me. So they asked me. And I said, yeah, unless they can show me what they write first. Because mm. we know white people steer. <laughs> Anytime they write things, <laughs> and they will understand Jamaican language. Mm-hmm. Them put things in there where you see it now. You say, but we never say that. Mm-hmm. So in order not to say we never say that, we took the book, took the script. I mean, my wife got over the book, you know, bone for bone, Pencil for pencil, cross out where we want, cross out and throw where we want, throw away. Mm-hmm. And give them back and say, oh, this is how it's supposed to go. Mm-hmm. So the book is out. Um, Ian Randall is the publisher. Okay. And Dr. Karen Cooper, the call her PhD, mm-hmm. is the person who writes the preface for the book. Okay. And now we have it in, in England here, mm-hmm. distributed by Emmanuel mm-hmm. Ghanian. So the two shows is something that we're looking forward to Mm -hmm. because we've been here so much time Mm -hmm. doing it and people are always listening to the program. Mm -hmm. So the program is what keep it abreast Mm -hmm. in England. And I was telling my friends a while ago that Galaxy was the first radio station in England to push the cutting edge. Mm From them time there, mm-hmm. 30 odd years ago, I think. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. 30 years. They, they, they are the ones who make people know that mm-hmm. like the cutting edge is a program to listen to. So, they used to take the tapes, them. Galaxy used to bandolo the whole of the tape, them. <laughs> and illegally, <laughs> illegally broadcast them. Mm-hmm. I was glad for that. Yeah. It's the first somebody ever do something so illegal. Mm-hmm. I'm glad for it because mm-hmm. I was SLR come. I said, like them, yeah. 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 them yeah. come also mm-hmm. and push it even further. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, why you look Galaxy? It's mm-hmm. long time we don't come to the studio, but yeah. we want to give thanks mm-hmm. to keep cutting edge alive mm-hmm. yeah. for those years that we can come now and see the world. I enjoy the program mm-hmm. and I look yes, into sir. it, you know? Yeah. Indeed. Yes, sir. No, I, can, I, can, I can definitely say that. Me grew up, I listened to cutting edge, you know, from tape. Yeah. In fact, yeah. one, one, one of my my earliest memories. You know, I'm head writer now is when Beanie Man and Capitan did, oh. did in a war. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I just said that, dear man. No, no, that's, that's about me young, you know. Me not, me not, me not, right, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I was about what? T- um, 10, 12, somewhere between there, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um and so they, they were you know they, they, they were warring and you interview Caperton yeah, and a man yeah. come in from the radio and say he was being a man but he was you know the real being a man he was yeah. some different being a man from about the place right you know what I'm saying but well, that was an like, interesting one because there was something that you said that that stayed with me from them time there and you said um 
basically that they, because that was a time when there was a revival of Rastafari energy in the music right. and you said that yeah man them feel say I saw it, it's a, I saw it go all the while yeah? Yeah, yeah and as if them them feel say yeah you know I just, from we come now the thing set yeah? yeah and you said that no this is that you know everybody feels say them I'm going to make the thing come, come yeah. and stay and all them things then it's that 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 thing stayed with me from uh, between all the beef and the rare rare mm. that statement that you made stayed with me and we have to, we have to learn the lessons of history yeah, right. that there's the there's, there's cycles. Yeah, yeah. We're repeat it. Right, right. you know what I'm saying? Repeat in it, in yeah. these things. But we can say firsthand that the, the cutting edge tapes were prolific in London and in the UK during yeah, that. Right. This is before internet and YouTube and all yeah. these things. Yeah. 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 Cassette tape. Yeah. 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 And they, they used to come like with you on the front tape, some some of them green cover, people put, some of them blue put cover. Them put yeah, it. funny. You know what I'm saying? But there was a there was a set because there was a set of them that used to come with the same front cover, mm -hmm. but just in different colours. Mm -hmm. Black yeah, yeah, black yeah, and yeah, green yeah, or yeah. black and blue or black and yellow. You know what I'm saying? So and it's it's I, I wanna ask you this question because me first know about your car, my father play your record in my house, yeah. Particularly Outcry and Mysteries Unfold. Yes. And then we have the all the rest of them as well, yeah. But I first come about you as a poet, as a poet and an artist, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you have a whole next legacy now. There's a whole generation of people that were doing no more about Ruka, the poet. As the poet. Them know him yeah, as the continent, right, man. as as the radio man. So how how does that how do you how do you see how do you contextualize those two elements in your legacy? Is that a blessing to you that there's you know that sometimes people don't know you as the poet, they just know you as the radio man, or you feel away about that hour? No man, no feel like I don't see him person, man. Of course, I, I mean, feel that way for somebody that's in AI, me. <laughs> you know, we're the AI thing, but no, because you know when we just start out before we go up on the radio, we always used to read poems a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we start to record the poem. So mm -hmm. people know me as a dub poet, mm -hmm. reggae artist. Mm -hmm. When we get the the program, because it come on every week and it reach thousands of people per week. Like mm -hmm. no, no, no stadium couldn't all we are listening to it every week, Thursday, yes, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then the radio station decides to say, Why we're gonna put another program in the day, so mm -hmm. then get the cutting edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I will if I you would know when them go up on the, the, the YouTube, is a cutting edge them I listen to. Mm -hmm. But if them put in Muta Baroka now, them say, ah, that thing I come, come up with Muta Baroka, mm -hmm. them never familiar with like the mm -hmm. album them. Yes, mm -hmm. And them start to listen to it. Mm -hmm. And after about 10 years, we just released a brand new album. Yes, sir. We are mad professor. I don't know if you know it. You have yeah, it. Of course, yeah. No, we don't have that. No, which, which are you talking about? The yes, life serious. and lessons? You don't have it. Not, not, it's not life and lessons you're talking about. No, my dad's station has filled up. You don't have it? You don't have it? No. He named Black Attack, man. You don't have the Mad Professor. A, a Mad Professor. A serious thing? Mad Professor, that man will produce music up. No, so. we, we know. We know. Shana Kia distributed. It. It's a brand new album. No I, feel no way, it's brand new. Okay. Yeah, I, didn't, new. I never knew. Seriously, we never know. Okay. Yeah, man, it named Black Attack. All right. Ten years now, we don't release the album. Yes, sir. And this is the album now we release. So. Yes, sir. So ten oh. years ago was Life and Lessons. Yes. Yes, sir. So I will leave you after recognizing me as a cutting edge. Mm -hmm. And them started to put in the name in there. Them started to sing our music, right. the poetry. Right. But we still have to do the dub poetry. It's got to come up after the door mm -hmm. yes, without the music. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Because most of the time when we come up here, mm -hmm. we come up here without music. Mm -hmm. We just stand up yeah. on the stage and yeah. Yeah, read the poetry and do the commentary. You know? yes, and that sir. is really where we come up after the Friday yes, and sir. Saturday. You know? Yes, sir. I mean, I, I, I recognize that and I have a vision in my mind, you know, for, for, for bring you come here with, with a band again. You know what I'm saying? No, we are coming here with a band soon, you know, but right, you want to. Good, good, good. Because we. The, all right, this is years when I do a big concert. Yes, sir. I mean, like me and a band. Yes, sir. Well, we do that last month at Rattatam. Okay, okay, okay. Me and Robotics. Okay. And Mad Professor. We okay. Do, mm -hmm. We do the Rattatam. And okay. that was almost what I call the launch of Muta Baroka. Right. Back on the, yes. what they call reggae scene. Right, right, right. And the, the, um, the book was launched there. Too. Yeah, okay, okay. And some of the DJ them did have the album. Okay. Okay. Some of the white DJ them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have everything in Europe, you know, them white DJ. Them. We don't know how to deal with that black people. We don't make them get the, 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 the music before. Uh, yeah, we don't yeah. keep in contact with... Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, true, true. Mm -hmm. The album is there. Mm -hmm. And now, next year, a lot of things are going to set up. Mm -hmm. To push the album. Okay. And okay. to really 
bring her forward on the musical scene. Okay. So you might see more shows now with the band okay. than without the band. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, buddy. yeah uh, give thanks and praise it. Um, uh, or the Musa Baruka. So you mentioned that the, the global impact of the radio shows, how, how would you assess uh, the, the impact that they've had over the years? Well, I can tell you all, all the, the genesis of that now. Mm-hmm. When the program did just start, mm-hmm. the youth, them used to listen to it, but them parents never wanted them to listen to it. Just clarify, when did it start? When 1992. Okay, That's good. 30 odd years ago. Good, I want to come back to that. So, yeah. All right, so the youth, them are listening, them parents don't want them to listen because them say, I'm full, full, Rasta. Mm. My dad, that's in this place. Mm. Barefoot, I walk up and blow and all them something. Yeah. So, them know, them know why they pick the street, but guess what now? The pick of them, just to take the transistor radio, or the little Nokia radio, um, take phone and put it out of them pillar. Mm-hmm. How oh, me know that? Because them tell me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And them you they start to go to university. Mm-hmm. And them still are listening. Meanwhile, them are doing them homework. Mm-hmm. Them are listening to the cutting edge. Mm-hmm. Right through them are listening to the cutting edge. Mm-hmm. Them youth, they know, get scholarship on Ghana, award Ghana, this, Yale, and mm. all them something there. So, them mm. want to carry me come as a student to university. <laughs> mm. So, them send for me. Most of the time, I go to America. Mm-hmm. As students who did not listen to the cutting edge, mm-hmm. go there. Why them send for me? Because the same reasoning, when them hear them professor with, yeah, yeah, yeah. them hear with the Dr. Rasta, with them peers, <laughs> never want them <laughs> listen to. Mm-hmm. So they might come prove now, say, this brother never gone to university, but mm. the professor talk up this all. Mm. And when them hear him talk, it's, it re- remind them that the same thing Muta Baroka used to say. Yes, mm-hmm. So that is how me, me get for going to America enough and make some enough money off of them and all them mm-hmm. something. <laughs> so yes, it, yeah. it, 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 it is good because it really reach. You have a region named Duke B.S.C. Yes. yes. Duke B.S.C. used to... Yeah. Every one of the programs, I remember yeah. them, I put them on YouTube. Yeah. And one day, my show me the breakdown of which part of the people them I listen to and how much people I listen I don't know them to them something. Mm-hmm. And I'll Vietnam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One day, my brother called me from Afghanistan and said, Boy, the Taliban, them love, love. <laughs> 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 he said, say? Boy, Muta. So Taliban, man, they say, they will owe you the mouth, what you tell me? You can't tell you that. They say, the Taliban, them love you, you know, but I don't know why them love me still, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, it, I saw yeah. we get to know, say. Yeah, man. Plus, now we see a university of Vienna come, come say, they want to do a book. Mm. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, man, seriously. Yeah. So you're saying that the, the show started in 92, so a similar time to your, the start of your film career. Oh, mm. all right. The film, the, the, that career start where we did first in you know, our Jimmy clip. I don't remember. The, you know, so I don't remember where it name. I did. I did really take a little camera. Uh, I'm call it camera performance in our Jimmy clip. Um, I, 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 I it never get big. That 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 mm-hmm. album, that, that, that film. They never mm-hmm. get big. Okay. Then we do another thing appearance in a one love. Mm-hmm. We came on the mall you know. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was no big thing in life. It was the, the old man in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. After the guy won, do certain things, and we asked him if we afraid. We asked the man if he's afraid of Obi. I said, yes, so yeah. we work some juju on him. And, yes, sir. Yes, you know, him start to get mad and freaky on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the major move, you know, was yes, Sankofa. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sankofa mm-hmm. is the one when all make people say, but we had a act at all. Mm-hmm. You see, because it is the most successful independent movie. Yeah. Mm. A version by the name of Ailey Gilma yeah. mm-hmm. from Ethiopia, yes, who yeah. teach at Howard University. Mm-hmm. Him, I made this movie named Nono. And some ladies who me know in Washington say, Well, if you want a brother named Shango, then be a Jamaica, you know. <laughs> okay. Him named Muta Baruka. Mm-hmm. So him come at Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And him say, Boy, him want to be a movie. And I mm-hmm. say, Well, let me read the script. I'm going to read the script. I said, what? Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. And he might look for place for shoot certain place. So mm-hmm. me and I come with it. Yeah. Drive him around Jamaica okay. and show him which part he could have used as okay. set and things. So he do the movie. And the movie was like, wow, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really, really yeah. big out there. I never know, say, a movie like that mm-hmm. could have get so big mm-hmm. and never have no Paramount or mm-hmm. them things they are distributed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, him go on with it, mm-hmm. him one, and 
book theaters for all a month. Yes, sir. Yeah. The movie, I remember the brother where, where, the, where the football, uh, the basketball player I watched him. He Cineplex, about 12. Magic Johnson? Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Magic Johnson showed the movie in there for a couple months well. Mm-hmm. And they invite me up there when I walk in the theater, the man, the man at the gate said, You can't come in here. I <laughs> said, Why? I said, You don't want to show me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Well, I said, Go. I'm out of I said, You have somebody say, Muru Baruka, Muru Baruka, why white man? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm so happy to see you. When the brother see you, right in the middle of the field. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. that movie, they really put me upon the map as an actor yeah. because we got good reviews for it over mm-hmm. the years, mm-hmm. you know, and it's one of the movies that we never have, no white man to liberate the African mm-hmm. people, I mean, like, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact, two white men in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have yeah. the role, yeah. One of the, of the two, mm-hmm. uh, two of them wicked, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and we have to kill them, mm-hmm. yeah. you understand? Mm-hmm. So, that is really what takes place in the movie, mm-hmm. Big thing. you know. So, yes, that, that is really the movie where Shoot it, off, yeah. yeah, I remember reading somewhere that Wesley Snipes was picking you up for that film as well. Wesley Snipes, yeah, that's that's, mm. that's quite a compliment. You know? But also, just quickly to say to listeners, what I believe it's been put out on Netflix now. Yes, yeah, yes, it was on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. yeah last, last I'm, couple I'm years. I'm not sure if it's still there because I haven't checked. Yeah, but, yeah well, I've well, been, I, 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 I don't know if Netflix. I don't even know. Mm, yeah, yeah, I, it was on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, you know. But yeah, no, very, very, very inspirational and influential movie, and I think one of the the lessons for that film. It's one of my favorite films of all time. Definitely. And and when it comes to what Haile Germa did in terms of the characters in that film is is worth a study. Yeah, yeah. because when you look upon Shango, um, Afriye, mm. Nunu, yeah. um, and it, all, there's all of the different characters, yeah. even, um, and Joe, Nobu, even, uh, Joe, even Joe, even Joe, <laughs> like the, all of the characters were, were serious, like they yeah. had depth, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and their relationships with each other. Well, you know what I'm saying was was a, was a, it was a serious, very very way, well made movie. And when yeah. you hear Haile Gerald must speak, you, you know the philosophy where, where I come from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, you why know, glad about that movie? Yeah, I am from Jamaica. Yeah, Noon is from Ghana. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, Ola Funke is yeah, from yeah. In America. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And he never tell us so much change with dialect. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because he must say, it's not everybody that sound like a black American. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And most black movies we have slaves tonight. All of them attack like black American. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. So he's him, him, very conscious that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. one of the Caribbean man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he know why I'm a change. You know, see, and uh, Ola Funke is, yeah. is from America. Yeah. She's a, what you call a Yoruba. Yeah. yeah. Priestess, Yoruba. Yeah. And Nunu from Ghana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So not never change tonight more than you know, Mama, Mama Ola Funke actually commented on my my Facebook the other day. You know, I said I said something about um I can't remember what it said, but it was like a sequel to Sankofa, and she said she's ready. Oh, a sequel? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. She, I was I was spe- I was vi- envisioning like yeah. speculating about a sequel. What would yeah. what would the storyline be? And she said she's ready. Anytime the sequel ready, she's ready for coming at it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so yeah. What do you give thank you, Grace. Yeah, I just want to go to a quick text. I mean, sister and brother, you want to. Ask uh, Mutabaruk any questions. You've only got until <coughs> nine o'clock, so do it quick. This is from 036, and they simply ask Tender Maya, please remind us, Mutabaruka, what it means. Um, is your name two words? Mutabaruka means one who is always victorious. Mm-hmm. It's a Rwandan name mm-hmm. that we adapted when we were going to school mm-hmm. from our next poet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? One who is always victorious. Mm-hmm. Actually, we we have the names very long, and we never know what it means until we go to Paris. <laughs> we were university in Paris, and some Rwandan thought that I was from Rwanda. Right, and right. I right. right. said, I right. said, No, I don't make me come from you. Know? Mm-hmm. And them say, You know what it means? I said, No, but I just say, like the poet. Mm-hmm. And them tell me. Mm-hmm. The, the poet, the name Jean Baptiste Mouta Baruka. Okay. And we just, it, it, it tell them tell us it means one who's always victorious. So I said, Well, it's like I choose the right name. So. We just work with the name from them time there until now. Give thanks and praise for that. So, sister and brothers, any text? 0794747219. Let me just quickly go to Elder Emmanuel just to tell us about the program that's coming up. Um, uh, Baba, the program, the Festival of Words that's yeah. happening. Um, yeah. yeah, the Festival of Words uh, kicked off go. on Saturday at oh. Halden. Mm-hmm. Where the great philosopher Mutabaruka was there signing mm-hmm. copies of the book he's mm-hmm. been talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we 
continue the book signing at Pempoms in Brixton yesterday. Mm -hmm. And today we were at Pempoms Mitchell. Okay. Tomorrow we'll be at Pempoms uh, Waltham store. Okay. And Wednesday we'll be at Pempoms <laughs> Lewisham. Okay. Yeah. They're very much a pimp and the affair. Going the affair. On. That's right. <laughs> very much. Pimp and the affair. I have to. I have to thank you, Uncle Emmanuel, as well. You know, I'm. I'm a part of a, a spoken word collective called Best Kept Secret, and yeah. and you gave us the honour when you had your World Power Festival one time to open for Muta once. That's right. Um, I'm glad you remember that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I want to give thanks for that. Yeah. Uh, you know, in fact, I've, I've, I've been able to buck up Uncle Muta many, many times in my spoken word journey. That's right. Um, with, that was one time. Um, I, I was able to host you in 2016 yeah. when, when, you, when you came in 2016. And then another time in 2009 that I always have to thank you for yeah. is when um, we, helped, we had our Gangland production and you attended. We never know. Let me tell, let me tell you the story. Let me tell you the story. Yeah. Yeah? All right. So we, we're backstage, right? Uh, we're, we're about to open. It's the second night of the production. Yeah. Um, in, our, in our East London, Bethnal Green, one local, one local theatre. Yeah. And so we're waiting for the, for the, for the queue to start the show and not in our guan. Yeah. So we are on this, what are going on? The people now start the show. They like them there with the music there. Here, 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 right. And so the, 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 the sound engineer, I think it was, came and said to us, but no, what well, it is, Mutamaruka outside, we are trying to find my seat. <laughs> 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 So we said, what? All right, take your time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everything blessed. You know what I mean. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't. there's no rush. You know what I'm saying. All right. So we do the show now, and you know what I'm saying. We never know where Uncle Buta did the whole show. Cause the place dark. Yeah. All right. When I tell you, when the, when the thing finish, yeah, and the people in my clap, yeah, who who comes to the front, yeah, but Muta Baruka, and all of us each individually, yeah. yeah. It was, I have never, I mean, all of us were just floored, yeah, wow. by, by that experience. That The fact that he was there and the fact that he showed that yeah. level of appreciation yeah. uh, at that time. So I want to give thanks to you again, yeah, wow. for yeah. that honor day, you know, yeah. uh, as, as a poet. Because like I said, I grew up, I listened to Muta Baruka. Yeah. And so as a poet, there's not many people that could honor me, that would mean more, much more to me mm -hmm. than a Muta Baruka honor. So yeah, we give thanks. Yeah, yeah, we give thanks. Yeah. Uh, any, any more takes? I've got, I got a question still, but... Yeah, but yeah. yeah. don't talk. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're not, you're not done. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, sorry. Yeah. sorry. What I you've had so far <laughs> from uh, the books and it are only preliminary. So right. the main show is at um, Lambert Town Hall mm -hmm. okay. on Friday, the 10th of November from mm -hmm. six. Uh, to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And on the show, we have um, Robin Walker of the Black Secret Project. Mm -hmm. uh, Imani Yuleni, who is an, a children's book writer. We have Pamela, Pamela R. Haynes, who is also a very prolific writer. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have Leo Marshall. So, mm -hmm. author of um, the it's Hidden Science of Melody, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. things. who runs the Hidden Science Project. Mm -hmm. And to crown it all, we have the great man himself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. live and direct from Kingston, Jamaica, mm -hmm. the one and only Muta Baruka. Uh, right. As you've been discussing, I mean, I saw the book that um, he just written with uh, others. And I was very pleased to note that Muta had an association with one of the greatest drummers to heal from the motherland, Kofi Ganaba, mm -hmm. yes. who, who was a divine drummer. Mm -hmm. He was in the movies. Thank you for yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ganaba was, uh, I mean, out of this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Quite literally. We, yeah, we, <laughs> call, we call him Oduman Kuma Chirema. Mm. Oduman Kuma is the almighty. Chirema yeah. is the drummer. drummer. Mm -hmm. So he drums for the almighty. Mm -hmm. And it was really heartwarming for me to uh, realize that uh, this great philosopher had mm. an association with him. Mm. Because I did have an association with uh, Ganaba as well. Right. As a young man, uh, just out of college, I did promote him. I took him to the uh, Kwame Kuma University of Science and Technology mm -hmm. to do a duet with 
mm. one other guy approached his call with Tego. Yes, sir. Yeah. So coming back to where we are now, Muta will be performing on Friday, mm. uh, 10th November from 6 10. Uh, tickets are being sold at Eventbrite or all open pumps uh, shops. Mm -hmm. Tickets are 25 pounds. Mm -hmm. Then on Saturday, we're off to Birmingham, mm -hmm. where yeah. he will be performing uh, with one young lady, Janelle Antonisha. Mm -hmm. And also, I forgot to mention uh, one of the performers, another young performer. Mm -hmm. Uh, who is um, who will be performing as well? It's called Grima the rapper, mm -hmm. the rapper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he will be performing with uh, Muta and the others in uh, London and as well as uh, Birmingham. Okay. Yeah. So we really, really will be having the books there for sale, but the books are very, very limited. Mm -hmm. You can also get them on. Uh, www.blackhistorybooks.uk mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's my website mm -hmm. where I push the books or uh, when you come down to the Lambert Town Hall on Friday if there are any copies left because, uh, <laughs> they're really really going like hot totally self interested old man would you have any on you now what a shame <laughs> no ah <laughs> uncle sorry. No worry, we'll come see you at Pem Sam's this week. We'll come see you at Pem Sam's this week. Yeah, but pick yours up ASAP because they really, really, and we don't have enough. I'm sorry to say because. Yeah, but that's that's a good problem, you know. That's that's a good problem. That's right. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, give thanks to all of you, yeah. Um, you so just a couple of texts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to Brother Shakira. I want mm -hmm. to try and get Brother Leader in as well before yep. nine o'clock. Yes, yes. uh, so again, just a couple of questions. Oh, this is not a question. It's a comment from Cali One. Rise up Galaxy family and rise up Muta for an excellent performance at Rota Tom. I think that's Rotterdam. from... Rota Tom. Rota Tom. I've got what it says here. Yeah. And it says, um, Salaf. I've got what it says. Um, okay. And Zero Six got another question again that they, they did text earlier. They said, when one is young, they're usually rebellious and say things they may not say now. So he's asking Muta, are there any songs or poems that you will not perform now? Good question. When me write? Yeah. yeah. No, nah, man, I will answer, man. <laughs> I'm a poem, them indelible, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write things that we can't repeat. <laughs> I, I agree, but you, I, I would I would imagine that you've written things that your perspective has changed on. No, you want to know, because it's perspective. Yeah. So, like, in the poetry book, mm. one part is the first poem. Yeah. These are the poems that I was writing from an 18, 19 year old. Mm. Yeah. And the next book was the same book, the next book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you want to know. Mm. You see, the first poems. Mm -hmm. If you look on the, the new album, Black Attack, yeah. a lot of the poems them come from those the, poems okay. when I was 19 years old. All right. I don't know where I could... Perspective change, but guess what? Me write the poem. Mm. Mm. Ah, true. Yeah. Ah, true. So me write the ah, poem, I have to stand up to it. Yeah, yeah. No, so, but I, I, can, I, can, I can think of some of your poems. Yeah, but can't say, all right, for instance, no. Yeah. If I say, ja in a poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't write a poem, no, I say, ja. ja. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. just that, say, yeah. you know... Perspective change, but I mean, write the poem. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks. S similar question, um, because you've been doing cutting edge for ter ter 32, what, 30, years. 32 years and uh, second Seven razor for how long now? About 10 years, right? So, uh, it's particularly with cutting edge, the, does the show mean something different to you now than what it meant 32 years ago? No, because I the same problem we're confronted with, unfortunately, yeah. mm, mm, that mm, after mm. so long, mm, mm. we have to say the same thing over and over again. So mm. some things over there, I said 30 years ago, we still have said, yeah. because yeah. it not come to pass. Mm. It's like Bob Marley sang them. Yeah. We should not sing Bob Marley sang them. Right? We should not in the archive. <laughs> you know what I'm But when you hear Bob Marley sang them, it come like some new thing. Very relevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. years ago. Uh, you know, true, so true. It's just so it go. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. not really... No, it, 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 it's just weird that mm. we have to keep saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we keep saying the same thing. 
My propaganda is a propaganda is somewhere we should have used to. So propaganda is things where you hear continuously and see it in your consciousness. Yes, yes, and that yes. is really what the program is all about. Yes, yes, we keep yes. saying over and over and over mm-hmm. till it takes flesh. Mm-hmm. And people listen to it and say, but wait, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to hear it. So, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, you remind me of Fela Kuti. Fela Kuti have a song where he said, look, he called Look and Laugh. And he's basically just repeating... Do, Tell the song them where I'm done already, sing already. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know it, not, not change not from, much, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I'm saying from them time till now. Now, um, I feel I'm a bridge into it. No, 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 I mean, Phantom Mojo relating to his disgusting portrayal of our queens in his video. So, I have to admit, I'm not familiar with that. I You're not to... familiar with it? No. Yeah, well, you want to know. Why must you just don't disagree now? When we disagree, then I'm not sure you say. Yeah. You're certain things, but yeah. me, I'm me to say it, you know. <laughs> I'm still well up on it. I'm telling you to apologize, I'm not apologize. So, when we feel so, you know. Mm-hmm. You're my dim thing, I'm here to my thing still. Me dis me disagree with them though, yes, yeah. of course. I'm not still yeah. disagree. I'm not changing my mind. Well, Last time on the pan video at of some little new kid yelling about him a fire king and all and something. Yeah. So that no work. Yeah. Uh, so six one three, yeah. I mean I don't don't know we expected the answer to be, but yeah, there it is. Like, <laughs> you know, no, man, I saw it still, I saw yeah. it crap. You know, him him trail out of madness. Mm-hmm. Where my talk, mm-hmm. where no know. Him mm-hmm. tell him talk some things for him. So where where I get him? When I go repeat what him says still, but yeah. No, when he can't repeat it, go go the man say, yeah. Me you sit there with Cindy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Come up at the house and and find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find you. We get them full system. What you want? Is it true? Me I know royalty in the music. Yeah. When royalty call him, you know, mm. he must to make a public apology. Right, right. And he apologize to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Total apology, but he said, no apology. But that's to you. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? That's, so that's, that's, that's telling. You know, say, mm. It get crazy. That's telling. Mm. That's telling. Because after him saying, no apology, he talk some more things. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, but wait, let me go to another no easy. No, you got mm. my, my, my oldest kick me, yeah. older than him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is because you come for the thing I talk about him, thing I like him, I discredit my. Mm-hmm. 30 years, 50 years as rap star. Mm-hmm. Where, where it come from? Mm-hmm. Anyway, that well, guy. Tell them, right? Do you want to hail up Dr. Abu, mm-hmm. Galaxy Management? Muta, when they hail up Galaxy for pushing out the message from how much decades you ago? Know, so, say, you know, know the... what? <laughs> I said 9 o'clock, you know, but I start to feel comfortable. <laughs> 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 I start to feel comfortable because I am warm, you know. That's right. Okay. Yeah, it's very yeah, warm. Yeah. Physically yeah. and spiritually. Yeah, good, thanks. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you're. you're, you're, you're Ask the next question. Yeah. All right. So your your program, Uncle Muta, is is a very political, politically charged program. Yeah. yeah. And we know um, that Jamaica is a very politically charged place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I'd like to know how you gauge the impact of your works in that regard on Jamaica politically and culturally. And it's a very broad question. Yeah. yeah. But I remember you doing a show one time where you said the one thing we are now bring on your show is politician. Me no, me no yeah, you, you know, politician. interview politician. No. But I'm sure politician listen to you. Yeah, yeah. but not talking about that. I'm going to go interview politician. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> because we interview the, the, the Prime Minister um, at St. Lucia. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm going okay. to interview... The promise I sent Vincent. Yes, 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 yes. But yes. it's really a disrespect me assure. Why I'm go clear what is going to interview. Yes, yes, yes. Come yes, would yes. I interview me and Matley too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, no yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get the I'll probably tell him I said, but you don't want to talk to the minister. I'm saying talk to the minister. Yeah, yeah. yeah Anytime yeah. them talk. Yeah. The feet so what they must say is the right thing. Yes, yes, yes. There's not what whether I'm is PNP or jail. Mm-hmm. If the JLP come and say something. It sound like, sound like yeah, yeah, when yeah. the PNP come yeah. and counter racket, they say, mm. "Boy, I threw my attack." You know, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't bother with them, man. Yeah. It's, it's kind, kind, it. kind of sounds like people's court um, part one, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you refer to it as a two-headed dragon. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, people's court, people's court. Two-headed dragon. Yeah, mm. right. They chop off one head, the dragon out there. Mm. Yes, yes. And yes. the body function, you know, so mm. chop off one head. That are there, there. Mm, so mm, the mm. two of the dragon like the PNP and the JLP. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. work for the same mass. Of course. I would say that every day upon the radio. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, one sir. politician, I'm say, boy, I'm out 
<laughs> Why you know where you say it's good? You know, but you're too radical. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we can't help it. Just like the preacher, them. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, we lick out against them, this and them, that. Yeah. You must say that boy, man. Yeah. Terrible man, man. Yeah. Trying yeah, to go yeah. to hell. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, yeah man. So, and, and you, you, it's reminding me of an extra like, that, that you did, yeah, where you talk about them. Yeah, in, and I, I don't know. You must you must get messages out of the way. So you're sure very funny. Like you must. They, they must say, you must say funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh gosh. Man. Yeah, but this, this was one where you say you people get, feel some are coming. No, that that we are saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the, you have a show where you talk about them, and you say you go a place where you know you talk about them, and you talk to them. And That's them right. say, yeah, yeah. them are give you hell, yeah? yeah, yeah but it's yeah. them you attack too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was, a, that was a funny one. But it's it's a it's an interesting, like I said, it's, it must be interesting in a place like Jamaica to do, the, to have a show like what you have here. And one of the That's things that, man. when you started Stepping Razor, because I was listening, I, I had a, and by the way, IRFM, please start out whatever, whatever is wrong with your subscription in England, because I can't log in, what I write you know. But, um... The um step when separator started, I I began to appreciate the difference between the two shows yeah. because I began to learn a lot about the local everyday politics where I go on pan the ground yeah, yeah. through through stepping razor. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, you know, you interview something I go on in uh, one parish and you interview the man with the pan the ground and, yeah, and rate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um and so uh, uh, like how how do you see d- describe for the <clears throat> audience what is the difference between cutting edge and stepping razor? The cutting edge is 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 more philosophical mm-hmm. and it delves more into all right, see why you talk about the politician and pan stepping ways and mm-hmm. the cutting edge that more lick the the, the preacher them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cut, sorry, the cutting edge that more say why well, it's a Christianity is the way to black people. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, go make a little like hear them something. Yeah, of course. You see, the man actually come on the radio of course. and tell him, say, him not believe in another Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. You can't take that. Mm-hmm. Me a devil right away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when me you now come on the radio and say, we don't stop being you, um, um, call who be a wicked and terrible and mm-hmm. something. Them say, ah, the rest of them now beg so. Because the boy, the rest of them not talk about who be a wicked and terrible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me not practice who be a mm-hmm. But them, See the the, the, the the level of Obia mm. in a slavery days or it helped to free and liberate the slave then. Mm-hmm. So they make it illegal. Mm-hmm. And some little unscrupulous guy come around the place and say, say my Obia man, I tell people, say, can't get visa for them. Mm-hmm. I don't know if little island, so I don't know if it's mm. And it's like, mm. but the essence of Obia yeah. can be justifiable through what we call the Ela, mm-hmm. the Bushman, the herbs man. Mm-hmm. Where him know about the herbs mm-hmm. and him know about the sequence of events in our nature. Mm-hmm. Him know when rain have a fall, him know when rain not fall, him know when to cap cut bamboo mm-hmm. a dark night. Him, mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. All of these things. Yeah. So when you hear a man I tell you about Obia, him will know the Obia when a man say I'll give you a big foot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Him don't know nothing else about Obia. That's mm-hmm. so them them have it because we mm-hmm. Africans mm-hmm. did use that mm-hmm. book man. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever hear about book man. Yeah. Bookman mm-hmm. and go to mm. and help liberate the people them. Yeah. And most of the time, let me tell you, say, it's who be I'm used. Mm-hmm. Taki, mm-hmm. Nanny, mm-hmm. them have a legend about Nanny about to catch bullets in her bottom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All them something there. Mm-hmm. Liar, too. Mm-hmm. Me not believe it's serious. I'm going to show you. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, can go. Yeah. 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 Me go in a 80 and say, voodoo ceremony. Mm. And I understand where the people them are dealing with. Mm. We go in a Cuba and say Santa Maria. Mm. And I understand that. Mm. So me not going to demonize mm-hmm. African ta- thinking. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I may not be a Yoruba mm-hmm. practitioner, mm-hmm. but just say I'm not a Christian practitioner mm-hmm. either. Mm-hmm. I'm not Judaism, mm-hmm. you know, and all of these things. So mm-hmm. we have to understand how them use our things against we. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And everything we do bad and everything them do good. Mm-hmm. And then we internalize for them things mm-hmm. and then it become we mm-hmm. so white people now for the monks way mm-hmm. we will be white mm-hmm. as you open turn on your tv so you see mm-hmm. white supremacy okay you know see mm-hmm. as you turn on your radio your white supremacy mm-hmm. you know see mm-hmm. all when you have sex mm-hmm. that's true you think white supremacy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know see so mm-hmm. it's the economy the political mm-hmm. idea the, yeah. the, 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 the belief system and all them something mm-hmm. there, come from out of white supremacy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, we are saying all those like I said, until that philosophy mm-hmm. crumble, mm-hmm. we have to fight. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You know, like one of them I say, 
we're not for fight. Mm. Cause you have some white people that take up that thing that do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I also have to say until the philosophy yeah, that yeah, old yeah, one yeah, way yeah, superior. Yeah, I say, yeah, I'm saying until. Yes, until. I will say not about that. We Africans will fight, fight if yes. it is necessary yes. because we are confident in the victory over yeah, both. Yeah, yes, yeah. Marcus, um, Bob Marley comes saying, mm. uh, if that is um, war. Mm -hmm. I just have to say the war, mm -hmm. Bob Marley said that. He must say, We Africans, mm -hmm. um, I just have to say, We Africans will fight if it is necessary mm -hmm. because we are confident in the victory of good over mm -hmm. evil. Mm -hmm. What am I talking about? It's the philosophy mm -hmm. that all one race superior, superior and the other inferior. Mm -hmm. It's the philosophy we tell you, say, and the color of a man's skin mm -hmm. is of no significance and the color of the eyes. Mm -hmm. That is what we must understand. Mm -hmm. That time don't come yet. Mm -hmm. So until that time, we Africans will fight. Yes, sir. It's right. just simply, you know. Mm -hmm. So when the, when you hear a man talk about, you know, want to come soft and talk, one mm -hmm. love, one heart, <laughs> let's get together and be all right. say, what are you, what are you talking about? Yeah. It's just ironical that it's not Bob Marley's original song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Them add words tonight, but yeah. it's, it's, it's Curtis, Curtis Mayfield mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. You know, people get ready, the train mm -hmm. is coming and them something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. Uh, as, as you were speaking, I was reminded by a, a, a good poem that I once heard him say, what we are for free Africa. Even if we use that. little obia, yes. and if the obia oh, won't we'll do, we have to use little voodoo. A long time we have said to him. <laughs> 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 See what I'm talking about? You know, longer poor men. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. don't change it. No, we don't change it. The man can't come to me and say, "Tomo, like we that about obia and voodoo." He said, "Yeah, we still think. I mean, I think more, more things go." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Friend, Tell that way. This bitch want to bring in brother leader band like a brother leader. He's still there on the line. Yes, Tanamari. Tanamari, brother leader Bandaka. Don't you want to greet brother Muta Baruka here in the studio? Yes, uh, um, let me, as our ancestral tradition would, would demand, let me just greet our elder and show respect and deference to uh, Baba Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Giving thanks and praises for your presence and for your promotion, Baba Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. And to our brother Muta Baruka, we heal you. We honor your tremendous work. You are a colossal icon mm -hmm. in the African world community because of your artistic prowess. We know you first as a poem. In fact, I was introduced to you by my uncle. He's now an ancestor. My uncle used to love your works and just love your, your demeanor, your manifestation um, in Jamaica. And he always talked about you you know um he's a, a uncle of mine who had transformed a grandmother's home that had all these pictures of white jesus and king george and you know <laughs> queen this and that and my uncle used to used to counsel my grandmother and said them things they're not good for having your house you know i'm not good for the picking of them and you know i used to warn her that one day she said to her one day going come and all of them picture going gone and one day, well, he was like, he was like a, a, a madman. He was possessed. My grandmother was away, and my uncle came, and he's like, he had a, he had a, a picture for every frame. And he went through the house and took down all of the white picture them, and replaced them with Haile Selassie and Lion of Judah and Marcus Garvey and one wolf or something. And I'll never forget, even though I was upset with my uncle because he upset my grandmother. But. I'll never forget the impact it had on me emotionally, mentally, intellectually. It just the, the, the imagery, the power of the transformation. That is the uncle that used to talk about Muta. We always talk about Muta, the barefoot Rasta man. Big up, big up. <laughs> yeah, give, 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 give thanks. And that is the uncle who shaped my African consciousness and planted some significant seeds that made me the the deliberated thinker that I became. And I want to hear you, Muta Baruka, um, because you helped me not only to ground myself spiritually and culturally, because I love your, your poetic works, but you also helped me to raise my children I, I... and to shape their, and to promote and, sh and cultivate their African consciousness and also to develop um, their own artistic skills as well. Because as my son said, um, Shakara, 
I used to rinse Mota Baruka in um, you know, home. I had about four or five year albums. Mm -hmm. And alongside Culture and Burning Spear and Abyssinians and so on and so forth, Mota Baruka was high on the list. Okay. So rinse your works, um, uh, Brother Muta you know, the, the, the you know the value of your work is is just tremendous and it would and and I am sure everlasting. Mm. You know? I, I don't I don't even think the world even really the world of Africans even yet realize mm. Mm. how monumental a contribution you have made. I don't even know if you even realize yourself <laughs> as, as as you speak. Mm -hmm. Because I think that it, it even transcends you. It's bigger than you. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's coming from an ancestral source mm -hmm. and it has come through you for a reason. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason the ancestors have chosen you to um to inspire us in the way that you have, we give thanks and praises and we value and we treasure you. Virgin, give thanks. Me? Give thanks. Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just say give thanks. I'm not just saying say give thanks. After you say all of that, man. <laughs> In, 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 so long, I want it for me, my time. <laughs> <laughs> in, in case yeah. you said that, that's this is your song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's the first place my father I speak, you know. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, that's my father, you know. So, yeah. And he's so, yeah. so younger than you. <laughs> 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 so, I might even say you look younger than me, but that's another story for another time, you know what I mean? All right, kings and queens. Brother, you, you have anything you, you, you have anything more to say, Ralida? No, just, uh, just um, very quickly in terms of. Uh, Brother Mutabaruka, as a, as a journalist, as a radio presenter, uh, as an investigative journalist, again, you know, he has done tremendous works. Mm -hmm. And the information that we are able to access from people like himself, um, Sister uh, Kabu Ma'at, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it's just priceless, just, mm -hmm. just priceless. And, and may the ancestors continue to strengthen you and mm -hmm. empower you, yes. you know. Um, may, may your barefoot continue to maintain strength and mm -hmm. connection to the and earth. my foot is not barefoot. You know, you refer to yourself as a barefoot rasta man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, so. my, okay. my uncle used to talk about you as a barefoot rasta man. No, I mean, know everybody said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the last time I look at my foot, I have my foot. <laughs> well, may your foot bottom. Continue to remain tough, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> and the ladies, them say it's soft, you know. <laughs> <laughs> when they touch it, they say, What? Wow, oh, wow, you your foot so soft. <laughs> so you think it's over that soft? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yes, I give time, Virgin. Whatever cream, cream and lotion you use when you put yes. it, I like to share it with me. Yeah? Keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I give time. Give time. Definitely at work. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah. All right, so give give, give thanks. That, yeah, that, man, give that, thanks. That is people now. I'm, I'm enjoying the yeah. show, and and I'm sure that the listeners are really appreciating, mm -hmm. um, you know, hearing from from our brother, and I, I just know the events that are being promoted by our elders, uh, you know, are going to be a success. Mm -hmm. You know, Muta Baruka, you never, uh, when you come to this country, you never miss. You know, yeah, that's true. Really. Events are always, okay. you know, the events are always sold out. So we give yeah. thanks and praise, and we look yes. forward. Ten right. Ten Ten Give thanks, probably. We said that earlier. I mean, although Muta comes there not infrequently, but every time he comes, he's big yes, things. It's serious, every time he's yes, big it's things. Serious, it's some yeah, people, yeah. some people, you kind of think, okay, yeah, I saw it last time, but no. Every time Muta, it's, it's an event. It's serious, then we we'll quickly go to some of the texts that have come in. Give thanks to them, brothers. We're going to open lines very shortly as well. Zero seven nine four seven four seven nine two one nine. Sheba. Blessed Rastafari, greetings. Give thanks for an uplifting session as usual. Brother Muta, big thank forever. Inspiring lyrics and levity. Your work has so strengthened and inspired I, a young Rasta coming true. More strength, more love. Give thanks, mm -hmm. Sister Sheba, uh, for that. Mm -hmm. um, got another text in here from 036. Tenebra once again, Muta, who? has been, if anyone, your greatest influence or what event or instance has impacted you also? What is the heaviest discussion or reasoning you have ever had? Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting question there. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I'll ask it anyway. Muta, is there anyone <laughs> who can take your place? What do you think about Kairos 1 or does he need to change up or implement anything in how he does things? Um, That's strange, man. 
And um, <laughs> yeah, that was even strange. I'm gonna leave All that. Right, I'm gonna take time with me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the top one and free, 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 free. the influence, okay. right? Okay, the influence one, yeah. All right, when I got school, the first book that I read that starting upon the journey is the autobiography of Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. And that you teenager, you we read a book there, it kind of powerful mm -hmm. to know that brother there was. A pimp and all them something like mm -hmm. them going to jail and come out back and, mm -hmm. and mesmerize the whole world. Mm -hmm. But we used to have some teachers at school. One of them was Marcus Garvey's son. Marcus Garvey Jr. Marcus Garvey Jr. used to teach him. And mm -hmm. he used to have him thing, you know, him father vibes and thing. And him and James Garvey, which is Marcus Garvey wife, used to live on Mona Road. And we used to go up there at school, you mm -hmm. sit down with her and, mm -hmm. you know, we'd have a conversation and wow. something like that. So, mm -hmm. We start to know going on Marcus Garvey philosophy and opinions mm -hmm. of Marcus Garvey. Mm -hmm. And that generate the interest of African consciousness. Yeah, yeah. But when we look on the whole black power movement in Adam time, in the 60s, mm -hmm. it never had no spiritual thing mm -hmm. that defined it. Mm -hmm. It was more political and mm -hmm. social. Mm -hmm. Like the Black Panther Party, mm -hmm. they used to deal with social things mm -hmm. in the community. And yes, stuff sir. Yeah. It never have no spirit. Mm -hmm. So we at school and man, I want to get around my little place there and mm -hmm. I listen and I talk. Mm -hmm. I made a youth and say them a rasta. Mm -hmm. And we start to move with them. Mm -hmm. I go to a child. Mm -hmm. And we start to have bingy and them something there. And mm -hmm. We start to move more and more into the Rastafari. Because we say the Rastafari was not only political but mm -hmm. spiritual. Yes, and it defined a spiritual awakening mm -hmm. that most group will come up, whether them is communists mm -hmm. or political pan Africanists. Mm -hmm. They have no, never have no spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And it's that what they really are try to figure out. Mm -hmm. You know, we figure it out. Mm -hmm. Because what we say, the black power movement is intricate, intricate in the part of Rastafari. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always say, Rastafari is a black power movement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with a spiritual nucleus. Mm -hmm. And that spiritual nucleus is to see themselves mm -hmm. in a next person. Mm -hmm. If you read the Egyptian book of the dead, mm -hmm. the coming forth by the end, it mm -hmm. said to see yourself in things mm -hmm. is one of the greatest things. Mm -hmm. Because if you see yourself in other things, you know, mm -hmm. you won't try to damage the thing because you don't want to damage yourself. So when Rastafari I come show me is a man mm -hmm. where we couldn't think about for because we are thinking about the spirit, this God in our sky, and, mm -hmm. and we can't connect with it. Yes, sir. You know, see? So mm -hmm. I still have to come in at the picture now, not only as a spiritual awakening, mm -hmm. but also a physical manifestation of something where Africa should have looked for for a long time mm -hmm. and is a king. Mm -hmm. Because when Owell comes say it, he say. We have worship King Charles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have to let go him. Mm -hmm. See the now 1930, the 2nd of November. Mm -hmm. We have a king, Emperor Isla the first. Mm -hmm. So it's him who should have worship. Mm -hmm. When he never said worship, him say him who should have looked to mm -hmm. as our as a redeemer. Him mm -hmm. say redeemer. Yes, sir. So when I look at it, I say, well, I have that true. Mm -hmm. So we never look at no king and you have to have a manifestation. Mm -hmm. No matter what the communists want to say, mm -hmm. you have to have a manifestation mm -hmm. where you say, mm -hmm. this is it. Mm -hmm. And through that, mm -hmm. you will recognize yourself. Mm -hmm. And that is where Rastafari is to eye. Mm -hmm. That when I say still as I, mm -hmm. I see something of myself mm -hmm. that I can really push out there. Mm -hmm. And it helps I how to eat, mm -hmm. how to look, mm -hmm. what to wear, mm -hmm. and just how to express myself mm -hmm. philosophically and otherwise. Mm -hmm. So it's a cultural expression that is defining it. Yes, sir. Um, Black power movement never have no cultural expression. Granted, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the 60s, they used to wear that cheeky and all that mm -hmm. something. But that is as far as it goes. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the black power movement, most of the leaders, them, gone the other way. Mm -hmm. Wally for them. Mm -hmm. Drugs kill them out. Mm -hmm. Gone with white woman. Mm -hmm. All these things. So it was a problem to the black power movement. Mm -hmm. We have said that with Rasta too, you know, but when I say <laughs> <laughs> the consciousness, the consciousness that prevails, yeah, 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 see, yeah. is that Rastafari lends itself to a, 
awakening. Yes, sir. That never did it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It never did it. Because mm -hmm. all we talk about black means a black way. Mm -hmm. I rest of all, I can tell people to say, Africa for Africans, mm -hmm. like Marcus Garvey, mm -hmm. those at home and those around. Mm -hmm. And we come iconicize, if there's such a word, mm -hmm. Marcus Garvey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still, he's a group of Rasta. Mm -hmm. Look for the Trinity and say, Marcus Garvey mm -hmm. is one of part of the Trinity. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 that person, you ever hear that? Mm. It's something Rasta could have come up with that. Yeah. Because the depth of where I see, it might re, re, it might vamp all of the things there, mm -hmm. where white people come show away as it comes to consciousness. Mm -hmm. And we start to create certain things, like even the language, mm -hmm. I and I, mm -hmm. I tell. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's ironical that when the Rasta man just say, I and I, mm -hmm. everybody say, oh, what kind of foolishness is that? Mm -hmm. When somebody say I tell them, say what kind of fool is that? Mm -hmm. All right. We hear them guys, them tech guys come with iPhone, mm -hmm. iPad, yeah. IT, I <laughs> I mean, I said, oh, them now say how foolish is that. <laughs> where the iPhone, iPad, where the I come yeah. from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I theorize say uh, some guy come here this I this as the highest yeah. farm of anything. Yeah. Yeah. And say, you know, so I was called iPhone, <laughs> iPad, IT, yeah. I this, I that. Yeah. And the rest of man food. Has become work, work, so popular work. that when we are talking about ital, we are not even vegan, lacto vegetarian, mm -hmm. um, all sort of vegetarian, Piscean people who eat fish, but mm -hmm. there are people say they not eat meat, but they mm -hmm. eat fish. Mm -hmm. They are vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, can be a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. eat fish. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. if you eat fish, mm -hmm. you eat fish, mm -hmm. but you can't say it's a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Fish no grow on trees. Mm -hmm. Fish in the sea. <laughs> and all that. So we look at all of that and recognize the value mm -hmm. of the concept and the culture of Rastafari. Yes, sir. Where Rastafari come with and emphasize Africa mm -hmm. as in center, as in point. Mm -hmm. I don't know if no other set of people mm -hmm. will come with that the philosophy mm -hmm. that him could have said, him now come in my ear mm -hmm. and him going to make him locks grow. Mm -hmm. And people say, what kind of dirty black heart, man? Mm -hmm. And we have say, yeah, my heart black. Mm -hmm. Proof that my heart no black. <laughs> or you have a proof that my heart black. You have kill me first. Mm -hmm. And then the guy, you can't prove that to me. <laughs> so the black heart man is where pressure yes, the system. Mm -hmm. And the system can't take Rasta. Mm -hmm. Because the black heart man come with some talk where, where them mm -hmm. get them fools is there from? Mm -hmm. Jesus is a slave ship. Where you get that from? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, say Jesus was a slave ship. Uh, yeah. They yeah. say Jesus a fool, but. The first slave ship to protect black people from Africa, come on, that's all. Mm -hmm. But I hear the rest of the man say to me, I say, where them get them food from? <laughs> from? Me used to say, mm -hmm. as a youth, mm -hmm. say, Jesus, slave ship. Yeah. But I come read now and recognize. Yes, from sir. them same one, say, Jesus mm -hmm. is a slave ship. Mm -hmm. It's just that. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Give okay, thanks, thanks Sister Rivers. Quick, quick announcement right on to Sister Rivers. Call now on 0203-289-6504. Skype us on official Galaxy of Phoebe radio. WhatsApp or text on 07947-479-219. Tell them my sister and brothers, yes, you're tuned in to the Big G, Galaxy of Phoebe.net. Africa Peaks with our Carolyn here, speaking with the legend that is Muta, Muta, Muta Baruka. I want to uh, hand over to Dr. Abu to say a few words. Dr. Abu? I'm cool I'm cool you sure? Yeah, man, All right. Good. Thanks, Dr. Abu. I, I have a question, if, if, if possible. Yeah, just to reemphasize, the system, bro, lines are open. Uh, we're, 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 you know, we've got Muta for, for a short while, so give thanks and praises. Um, let me just quickly go to this call, oh, though. This is 636. Okay. 636. Six, six, you're on Africa oh. Pizza by Keblin. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, sir. Can you hear me good? We can hear you good. Yes, sir. Okay, um, just a quick question here to, uh, to, to Muta. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you've been walking around like um, certain places like in, in London. Like especially, like, so, bro, before you like, continue, um, Marada, what's your name? Sorry, sorry, Critical Thinker, yeah? Critical Thinker, give thanks, Critical Thinker. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you for, uh, for letting me come through. Mm -hmm. uh, I just, yeah, like I said, just a quick question. Like, um, I don't know if you visit certain uh, areas like, uh, like Lambeth, um, Southwark. Uh, particularly yesterday, I went to Peckham. I just want to find out your, your views on like um how black people are establishing establishing themselves in, in like um as business wise and uh and, and your thoughts on the last time you've been here and and uh, what do you think are and yeah sorry and the next question is like uh 
how do you think the next the, the, the progress will be for the the next generation to 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 create a, like a, another movement, a black a black movement? What do you think it will take to for the younger generation to be um convinced or, or enticed into creating a, a new black black power movement? Okay, give thanks critical thinking. I don't know where much about the first one, but the second one. I think you have enough. So, 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 sorry, Adubita. Uh, right, the call is on the line. Can you can you mute yourself until you come to speak? Give thanks. Uh, Who's that me? Uh, yeah, everyone on the line currently, because because okay. because uh, no, now no, I... Muta Muta responded. So everyone, please mute while Muta responds to that first question. Yeah, man, say I don't know where my start was the first one, but the second one about movement and young people. I think there's enough blueprint that uh, the ones work with. Already, we don't know if you can, but I re- reinvent the wheel. We have Marcus Garvey, Kwame Nkuma, Joe Mokenyata. You know, you go on and on and on. Mm-hmm. All you have to do is study these people. Mm-hmm. You know, see, because the thing that they already, I just say, go look for another hero. We don't want no more hero. We have enough hero. Mm-hmm. How, much, how much hero we want? So, mm-hmm. everything that is needed to be said has been said already. Mm-hmm. So, the action. Must the youth them now must realize what is their purpose through what was said already, mm-hmm. you know, and we hear it continuously over and over. So we can't say it never did it, mm-hmm. you know. See, mm-hmm. mothers who right, can yeah. trust, fathers who can trust, show them children them. As you said about cutting edge, you know, you, you cut your ears from the radio. We don't really need no more thing for come now for come say this and this and this and that. Mm-hmm. Just what we have already. Mm-hmm. Is enough for liberate you. Mm-hmm. And we have to understand that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Give thanks and praises. Uh, but it's one of the questions I did answer before that, you know. And I did have a good on the line, but you know, I seem yeah, to remember. I think there's more questions you know. in the text. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a few more questions in, in that text about the, the inspiration. No, I think you answered that one. The other one was about Kareth 1. No, but there was. I think no, there was more than about there, three of them. There was one before that one. Okay. In, in the same sequence of, of reasoning. So, the one would, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, greatest impact, the heaviest reasoning or discussion you've the had. The heaviest reasoning or discussion you've had, yeah. 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 The heaviest reasoning or discussion I've ever had. Yeah. I, I think he means on the radio, though, right? Is, is that well, specified or it's not specified. general? Most okay. on the radio, will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, all right. The heaviest reason on the, the radio, well, it's not even on the radio, on the TV. It's me and a brother named Ian Boyne. Boyne. I've seen classic, that, yeah. classic, classic. And um, <laughs> Reverend Chisholm. Okay, that, oh yes, I've seen that. When yeah. Ian Boyne used to uh, confound me, because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling, he's not saying enough, he's a full smart actually. Because mm-hmm. I'm going to listen to my program. Yeah. All the way. Hardcore. Yeah. But he wants to bring the other Reverend them mm-hmm. from me now. Mm-hmm. And every time I bring a Reverend, when the program done half here, them say, oh, make the Rasta man come, make sure you like it, up on the TV. And, say, well, <laughs> and that go on for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is a man talking to me, I have to say, him, him say, why well, you know, say, no, I don't nasty. God, mm. the people, them are Christian, them are really. Mm. Him is one of the most respected Christian, you know, him have yeah. church. And it's the other day me I interview and next brother about a book a book where him write mm-hmm. about Ian Boy. Mm-hmm. And the brother said, him stop going to church and him turn eighties. Not him, the youth mm-hmm. who write the book, so him turn eighties. Okay. So me say, him say, the way I'm to Ian Boy, him say, you know, say me not really believe say Ian Boy is a Christian. <laughs> and me say, you know, say me and him reason both of them and say me turn agnostic. Him say, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He must really agnostic. Yeah. So, that is the heaviest thing them as it relates to religion and yeah. perspective. Yeah. Because they might try to test me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All the while them, them bring these people for test me. Right. And all the while it come back when I start to cost them. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Well I can I can say your first sit session with Ian Bowen where you was actually talking about Rastafari. That was a mo- a with, moment with, in time. With, with um, Reverend Chisholm. No, 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 not, not that one. Oh, when me and him alone. Me yeah. and you and Ian Boyne alone. Rest yeah. in peace, Ian Boyne, though. Um, but the um, it's too late to say that. Well, I true still, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the um, but that reason, the Rastafari reasoning was was a that was a very significant moment mm. for many people. Um, even Rastafari, that was like when, because I think that was the the the, ori- the genesis of a lot of people's new faculty of interpretation to yeah. call Martin Plano. A lot of people 
got that from Mutaba Ruka in that yeah. particular interview yeah. right there. So, so we want to give thanks for that. There's more callers on the line. So we'll, we'll yeah, there is. What, can we quickly go to a text, Brother Kwame Obaje? Tender my kings and queens, Baba Mutaba Ruka is an inspiration. His poetry lyrics are so dynamic as well as conscious. Big up to you, Muta Baruka, Brother Kwame Obaje. Right, got three callers on the line. We've got Brother Kwame Ose. We've got caller ending number 238 and caller Nia Norris. So we go to Kwame Ose right now. Greetings, Brother Kwame. Welcome to Africa Speaks. Uh, Tanamari, uh, family. Because uh, I know callers. Thanks, so uh, I'll go straight into my question. So, had Brother Muta been to Ghana, my country of, of, of birth, uh, what do you think about Ghana? And does he think that the spirit of Nkrumah is there or the spirit of a vampire is there? And the marriage. Well, you want to know. <laughs> Ghana, I love Ghana. Because Ghana reminds me of Jamaica very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, me, Ghana was the first love. Yeah. And then South Africa. But I look at South Africa and I say, when they are South Africa, you know, come back to the West. Yeah. Mm. But you know, say so they are Africa. Mm. So Ghana and South Africa are mm. my first choice. Mm. Right. No. I don't know about spirit of what? Nkrumah. Our spirit of what? Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah. Our what? I'm saying spirit of... Uh, spirit. Of, of, of vampire. vampire. Uh, the spirit of a vampire. Bridget, I don't believe in that spirit and vampires and all these <laughs> things. I you know Kwame Nkrumah is a real man. Yes. And me I look on him works. And me I look on him book them when I write. And I adapt me I go off. I yeah. don't know about vampire and all them stuff. Yes, I don't know. Give thanks. Talk to a man only, I'm chicken. <laughs> <laughs> give, thanks, give, give thanks to Brady. Um, number... Uh, Two three eight. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Two three eight. You there? Can you unmute? If you're not there, we'll go to the next caller, Nia Nore. Are you hearing me? You hearing me? Oh, we're hearing you now. Is that, is that two three eight? Yes, yes. That's John Williamson. Two quick questions, yeah. Uh huh. What time will Muta be in Walthamstow tomorrow? Five to seven. Five to seven, my brother. Five to seven in the afternoon. The book will be on sale there, yeah? Yeah. If there's okay. so, if the, if the, if the left, yeah. So get her get her at five. Get her early. Half know? past four. Yeah, you know. Okay. The next question is, yeah? Uh-huh. Buta say he will never mention of Ja in a new poem now. Why he would do that? Like you can mention of Ja. Ja? Yeah. No, yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. You see the word Ja? Mm. It's a bastardization of the word Ja. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The only part of the Bible where you say Jah is Psalm 68. Mm-hmm. Jah is Jehovah, the matter about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And J never in the Hebrew language. Mm-hmm. See? So when you say Jah, or even Jesus, it has nothing to do with the name of anybody who lived 2,000 years ago. Mm-hmm. When them say Jah, we get to understand now, say, Jah is just a word where you don't really have faith. What you call it now? Idolize or say this is a, a, a sacred word. Mm-hmm. You know, see, mm-hmm. we, we don't really work with that word. Mm-hmm. You know, see, even though Rasta over the years work with it mm-hmm. because that is where in the day. Mm-hmm. So we don't really use Ja. Mm-hmm. You know, see, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Ily Selassie means say mm-hmm. simple, mm-hmm. outright, nothing else. Mm-hmm. Nothing before me. Yeah, nothing before him name, nothing half time name. You can't make Eilis Lassi great Eilis and where he is. You see, so I just Eilis Lassi. Me not say God, me not say Ja, me not say Jesus, me not say none of them words there. Yes, I'm not, I don't Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks to um, 238. Give thanks. Going on to Nia. the next caller, Nia Nore. Wait, I'm going to tell you something about this My, thing. Uh, hold on, hold, 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 Nia. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to tell you something about this thing. You, know. mm-hmm. you see, all oh, people, you, all right. You have a whole man that said, John, I don't see that side of my about you. I will find them regular artists who are singing about John. Mm-hmm. I don't see that side of my talk about you. Know. Mm-hmm. All right. So you have man who said ja, and I say my sila sila say matter. Or you have man who said ja, man. Mm-hmm. You see, if you say Ily sila mm-hmm. there's no doubt about who you are talking. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So Rasta have to come to that understanding. Say, don't confuse the thing with no Jawovia, God, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. say Ily sila say. Mm-hmm. But you say Ily sila say right away. 
Your yeah, eye click in your brain. Mm -hmm. Now you know so you, you have an image. Mm -hmm. Everybody have an image. Mm -hmm. You see, if you talk about Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. he have an image. Stick in your brain, he have an image. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So pre pre prevent those unfamiliar images mm -hmm. to appear in your brain. Mm -hmm. Just say, I listen to say, if you talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just say, I listen to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got name the way I work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Give thanks and praises. Yeah. And Nia Nora, over to you. Welcome to Africa Speaks. What's your contribution? Yes, my heart and I marry. Tell me, um, my heart oh, said, do um, Elder, do I have permission to speak to you, sir? Well, after you say Elder, you said, sir, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can't talk to me. But you could show the energy to the sir. Because after my heart and I tell you, you can't talk about sir. <laughs> because if you didn't, if you didn't grab permission, man, everything finished, you know. Yeah. Yes, he's up on Brother Naya. He's up on Brother Naya. Just drop the sir, brother, brother Naya. Just drop the sir, and everything is all right. <laughs> okay. Yes, all right. I apologize. I, I apologize. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but first time, the, the first time, before time, at the buck up in Gambia with um, Julius, uh, with Garvey. Marcus Garvey's son. Jesus Garvey. And, and, uh, yeah, and, 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 and Sizzla. Right? Yes. And I was going there on holiday. Yeah, but me never really get to um, say anything. But the second time in Bokyo, in, in a library, and I think it's with um, um, the elder um, son, um, Lion son, he was asking you, um, it was um, the Al Kebelan um, son, he was asking you, um, you was talking about some um, LGBT. And I think he asked you, and the people then walk out, you know, and they said, and 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 you said to them, well, <laughs> I feel the problem that you know, like, yeah, understand? I don't know if you remember that one. What was say? What was say? What was the answer? When I asked about LGBTQ, RST, <laughs> there was you was you was in a library, right? Yeah. Um, with um, uh, Al Kable and um, um, the brother um. And and yeah, I, they was asking you about some. Um, um, you was um, saying that um, you, you're not supposed to talk about LGBTQT. And you well, said, wait, 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 <laughs> what, what was I talk about them say? And you, you, they, they walked out. They walked out the place. <laughs> no, we no man. Me ask you, what he's he's about asking you, LGBTQ say? Yeah, he's asking. What did it? What did he what, say about LGBTQ? SGPL. We can't. Re we can't remember. But all I remember was yeah, that. We can't answer them. Man. Let, let you have me, to tell me why them walk out. Let, what did say? Why them walk out? If you can, can you answer this thing now? How did you write this poem? The poem. He said this poem is is yeah, long. Yeah. It's strong. Where did you know about this poem then? Let me know about this poem. I mean, right? I think it's probably asking when you when you know it, when, it, it, when you get the inspiration from. Uh, what, what was your what was your meditation when you got? My meditation the is that me, me think on all of the things them we confront African people. Speaking of the wretched sea, yeah. you know, speaking of Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. you know. I just mm -hmm. speaking of Naya Bingi, mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. speaking of all these things. Mm -hmm. And but can, point, can, you, can you just do a quick verse? We, no, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we answer the question, man. Mm -hmm. When we reach down, when we write and I write, the poems, there's so much things that we need to write, but I'm saying, you know, something, it has to end somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. You know, that poem has sound stupid, you know, but this poem will continue in your mind. Yes, yes. In yes. your mind, in your mind. Mm -hmm. So I just amend the poem because you figure out where you're in your mind now and add it to the poem. Mm -hmm. So it become one of my most famous poems yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so where am I next? Where am I next? That, that was it. That was, that was, that was the oh, question. Okay. Yeah. That was the question. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wanted to ask you because you, you met we're we're um in the house of Garveyites right you know and you mentioned Queen Mama Amy Jakes Garvey. Yes. Yeah? And um we know that earlier this year her 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 grave was um renewed, refurbished so to speak. Yeah. But I I don't think many people understand or appreciate the impact that she had on on the youth there in the nineteen seventies. Yeah, yeah, that 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 may I say. So yeah. I wanted you to speak more. 
on on your relationship with Cream and Amy Jakes Garvey because I don't think people really understand the, who she was. But because you knew her, you got used to... Re- just just yeah, give yeah, us like, yeah. a reason about Amy Jakes Garvey. What, what kind of person was she? What kind of inspiration did she give no, you? No, I'm never so close to her. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But just go out here, go sit down. And, and reason, and yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. yeah. All right. First, I have to say, mm-hmm. Marcus Garvey, first wife, mm-hmm. you mean Ashwood Garvey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Him, help, she helped him to start the UNIE. Of course. Right? Now people have to know that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You know? Mm-hmm. Man and woman connect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. The second wife, mm-hmm. hear me, Jake's Garvey, is the one who make people know about him. Mm-hmm. Through the book named The Philosophy and Opinions mm-hmm. of Marcus Garvey, Volume 1, 2, and 3. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, that is something where people must know. Because mm-hmm. even upon the cover of the book, yeah. It's a compiled by yeah, Amy Jakes Garvey. You mm-hmm. see? Mm-hmm. We must understand that. Mm-hmm. All right. When we used to go out yard as a youth, mm-hmm. all we had do is just go and find some book we shop up our yard. Mm-hmm. And she had talked. You know, we don't know what we had talked about. We had right. talked about blackness, mm-hmm. consciousness. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had talked about 16, 17 years old. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, see, we were okay. going to go up there and, right. you know, kick cash with her uh, sometimes. <laughs> because we are Rasta, look for Rasta, and she okay. read it with another Bible. And yes, yes, yes. Them read it. So, yeah. she was a woman who, when we look on how she elevated her husband, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because she did have a strength by herself, you know, but mm-hmm. she feels uh, the work with a man they are doing. Yeah, yeah. Even though I'm, me, I'm white, mm-hmm. it needs to be elevated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And for a woman, write a Bible mm-hmm. or compile a Bible, mm-hmm. like philosophy and opinion of Marcus Garvey, that mm-hmm. means you could have come ready and say, mm-hmm. Black people should have stopped reading the Bible and read the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. Mm-hmm. Because philosophy and opinion of Marcus Garvey is a straightforward book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not compromise nothing. It's mm-hmm. talk about Africa for mm-hmm. Africans, those at home and those abroad. Mm-hmm. The Bible has tell you about man across Red Sea and you know, <laughs> raise dead out of cotton and all them something. Mm-hmm. We can't relate to that right now. Mm-hmm. In our time, as you know, black mm-hmm. people cannot relate mm-hmm. to those fables. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm We have to deal with now the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Garvey. Mm-hmm. It's a real thing. Yes, sir. It's a real thing. Mm-hmm. So, if you don't mean that, you, you don't mean that you say, me never know of our personal life yes, and yes, something there. Yeah. But as I used to just go out yard, yeah. and I realize the work we should do. Oh, yes, yes. But yes. more time, you know, your people say, as she make the people them know oh, about yeah. the philosophy and opinions of Marcus Yard. Mm-hmm. So, a woman sit down and compile all of them things there mm-hmm. and put it together. Mm-hmm. And now it is like a Bible. Yes, yes, yes. It, it has influenced. Kwame and Kuma, mm-hmm. yeah. Jomo Kenyatta, mm-hmm. even Nelson Mandela before him come out of prison. Mm-hmm. Him should have carried to him when he come out of prison. Him gave it to Mama Winnie Mandela. Oh, you know, so. gosh. Man, that's what I was telling you. Know, he said, go beat to Winnie Mandela. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and it's been the Mandela I can't know about Nelson Mandela. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. When he was yeah. in our prison, yeah. she used yeah. to push him name. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, yes. them woman there, Need to be revered, man. Yes, sir. 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 Yeah. Well, one one woman who I who I would cast in in that light in this time when they would do right now is Kaboma at Keru, yeah. Yes. And she was my boss one time. Uh, of course, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you said that for the really every time. You're the yeah, really You used to work on that. Uh, uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. So I, 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 I put it straight. Our office was upstairs. Yes, yes, yes. And the studio was we downstairs. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, when yes, I said, well, yes. I'm used to work on that. Like, yeah, we know where you are. We know where you are. No, we know you. I said, wait, I'm going to move that down. But actually, I'm going to have a problem saying. I know, of course. I'm going to have a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but I, but your 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 shows your your shows very much complement each other. You've worked together many oh, many man. times. Oh, yeah, she's a gem. Man. Of yeah. course, you know what I'm saying. So I just want to talk about that. Just the relationship Cabo? between. Yeah, no, well, y- no, that a big relationship. Man. Yeah, man. I can tell you one. Go, go on. The first time I go to Ethiopia, mm-hmm. is a brother named Seymour. Yeah. Dead now. I'm the Rassi Seymour. Yeah, man. Rassi Rassi Seymour. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Legend around yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I am me him. 
No, me, Cabo, Tony Rebel, mm -hmm. that's a safari, mm -hmm. and a brother named Loot and Fire. Mm -hmm. The first time I got to Ethiopia, yes, sir. the whole of everybody. Mm -hmm. To the point where I get to do one of the biggest interviews mm -hmm. ever on radio, mm -hmm. is Noel Dyer, mm -hmm. who walked from mm -hmm. England to mm -hmm. Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. If you hear me I talk to him, I say, but I have the chief, I mm -hmm. interview him, mm -hmm. and him tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. He walked from England, yeah. go to Ethiopia, and it took him one year mm, mm, to reach long there. Mm. So that couple did present and like that. Yes, yes, yes. Then now, she's, was, RFM started to do the Marcus Gabby tribute. Mm -hmm. She did that before me. Mm -hmm. And she was the one where put together the Marcus Gabby tribute every year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And not only that now, when we come up with certain things, mm. And she said, Well, you can't say that for the radio. And I can't listen to her. <laughs> you see? Yeah. Because the man who only wanted to say she was dead now, um, Mr. Young. Mm -hmm. When people are calling him, I say, Must take that the boy out for the radio. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a talk about put up Bob Marley picture instead of Jesus picture. <laughs> 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 say, You can't have the boy up on the radio. Yeah. He yeah. come to me and said, Let go out and talk, man. Look yeah. at as long as you don't put no hole in my pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Say where you want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From no, up to no, I don't put no hole oh, in yeah, my young yeah, pocket. I don't make him get the last suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got 30 years. Yeah. She is the one. Yeah. When she don't say it and I listen to me, yeah. she will say, Mota, where you get that from? Mm. Where this or where that? Mm. Or she tell the other producer them to organize up mm -hmm. interviews them want. You know, see? Mm -hmm. And we was like, we are moved. Mm. Sweet, I was still a move. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this book, mm -hmm. I choose her to be the 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 the, 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 the um main speaker right. for the book because she know where to come from. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. When, when we never depend on the radio, she did their Irish. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, see. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, so sir. She, she's a wonderful sister. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. Yeah, wonderful. So yeah, man. Big up sister Cabo. Indeed, you know? indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Cabo Mahati Road. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Choose the name. Andrea. Yes, sir. William. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And she go to Egypt and switch her name. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Well, on, 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 on another subject, because one of the things that you are known for through cutting edge in particular is exposing the people them to different kind of music. And what some people don't know say he's he's actually a DJ. You, you go out and dance and, yeah, man, and play have, music. Like and them black yeah. Music. yeah, man. We never set in black music. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. What we, we know. used to play. African music before mm -hmm. people that hear yeah, about they know about it. Yeah. Lady Smith and Lucky Dube because yeah. we used to play on the same label. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We used to get the CD then. Yeah. But when we start playing the African music, people that say, "Boy, I don't understand them kind of lyrics." Them say, "Me not understand them lyrics." Listen yeah. to me. When we go out far enough away, but them not understand what we are saying. Yeah, yeah. But the beat catch them. Yeah, yeah. And we, we insist to play. Yes. Keep. And sometimes four hours of pure African music. Yes, yes, yes. And we are played and. We know you're nobody a ball again. Ball again. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. when we did a play fella, nobody never know about no, fella. fella yeah. 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 We play yeah. fella. Yeah. No way about Afro beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when we hear the, the beat, the youth them have sing Afro beat. Mm -hmm. I come by the way and I say, so tell me something now. One time when we did a cuss me about, we don't understand the lyrics. And everybody have to hear it. We don't understand the lyrics for the Afro beat, man. Them <laughs> <laughs> and some of them have talk English too. Yeah, yeah. But the Nigerian, they have to talk English. Like fella, fella have to talk English. Pigeon, you know, pigeon. But you have to listen good for you, fella. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like um, my boy name again. Burna boy? Burna boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Burna boy, I mm -hmm. talk English, you know. Yeah. But you have to listen to what I say. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I tell them, oh, Afrobeast so popular in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. He was overtake yeah. dancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, no, I just go and play the Afrobeast. Yeah, man, yeah, man. I'm yeah. just play it fella still. Yeah, man. I'm play all of the man that we used to play. Yeah, man. Everybody now, nobody now fight me again. Yeah, man. Now, I, I recognize this because even listening to your own albums, like when you, when you listen to that tune, like um, uh, fam, Family Injection, yeah, on, yeah. on Mysteries Unfold, I, I, yeah, you, have a, you have a very serious appreciation for this music. Yeah, my man, stop. You, you know, and, and, you, and you, said, you, you said it on your show many times, that something like, oh, something about the mind that can appreciate all Conscious music. Conscious is the mind there that can appreciate all music. Yes, yes, yes. Because music is a higher level and state of yeah. acceptance and mm -hmm. appreciation. Mm -hmm. So, where you really are deal with now is go into the music, black music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I about any music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Black music we are work with. Mm -hmm. Beethoven and them man there. <laughs> I mean, I say, we listen to Beethoven music, but 
I don't have a plane on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will play Augustus Pablo. Yes, yes. yes. Who is one of our great yes, yes. musicians. Yes, yes, you understand? Yes, yes. Fela Ransom Kute. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Salif Keta. Yes, sir. You know, see, yes. all of them people there were. You know, hear them on Jamaican radio. Mm. Trust me, it's a soul man. I love soul music. Yeah, man, we can't see that. Yeah, we can't hear that. Oh, you see? It's like your music. We can't hear the soul influence. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Me used to follow Mary Tone. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. And Mary Tone, me have to be like a Mary Tone baby. Me used to live Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm. Four weeks, Mary Tone. Four mm-hmm. days a week. Wednesday, mm. when me left school, mm. when, me le- when me have a school Tuesday, me carry my khaki clothes mm-hmm. in my bag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when me got Mary Tone, mm. that time light sun had come up, mm. The Thursday morning, I mm-hmm. put on my car because I'm gone to school. Yeah. And teacher begs because teacher knows me never do the homework. <laughs> my math teacher. <laughs> so you want to know. Like, he me, my girlfriend, that's yeah. secret, I tell you. No. Yeah. If didn't like have my girlfriend. <laughs> and he realized, hey, if I always go to the her, I'll buy it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to give me enough homework. <laughs> enough math homework. I mean, never like him. <laughs> me never like him. Mm, 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 but guess what? When me come, I'm going to do the homework. I get detention. Yes, sir. Sometimes I meet one sitting down at the lunchroom and I get detention. Yeah. Men up see my marriage one of the students then. Mm, mm, I mean, still never like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. see? Yeah. Because what is? I don't have a match thing. I never like school, as a matter of fact. I have prayer. Yeah. Went to school, please make the school, make the old school. <laughs> because I want to go to party. Mm. I want to go to Marcus Garvey yeah. meetings yeah, yeah, and yeah. the communist meeting. Yeah, yeah, I want to yeah. go amongst the Naya Bingy man. Mm. can't take the school business. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, mm. it's so it go. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, serious thing. How many, how many people, how many babies have them named through cutting edge? Most, as somebody should have said this, you know. Most youth in a Jamaica yeah. have an African name. Yes. It's part of the program. Though. Okay. Because every week we used to give out a list of African names. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people write it down. Mm-hmm. If they don't understand, if, if they don't remember the name or spell, they might as well call me back. Mm-hmm. But I tell you, if you is 25, mm-hmm. If you're 26, 27, mm. 28, and you have an African name, mm. more than likely your parents will not listen to the program. Mm. Seriously. That right. is without mm. doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. And we started back now. Okay. We put it at the day, for the second year. Yes, have, sir. Between 4 ah, yes, we have yes, the African yes, names. Yes, yes, yes. We have a project. But we run out of African book. Mm. And I have this man here. Who supposed to have a bookstore? <laughs> and then have an African book. Kind of yeah, 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 and yeah, it's yeah. an African. <laughs> and it's an African name book. If can't be called himself in To be honest, I haven't, I haven't seen a new African name book for years. There's a sister called no, Julia Stewart. Like, like, it's book, it's like, the same one. The same old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that new book or old book. The same African name. But this man named Emmanuel. It's a Ghanaian name, Emmanuel. <laughs> and if they have no African name book in them store. Ah, true. We don't know if they're still in our print, you know, because you can't go on the internet. Well, I mean, in print. Because you can't go on the internet and get African name, no. Yeah, yeah but you want to know. I'm going to do that already. I'm going to do that already, and that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I'm going to find him guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the things that I want to do, though, you know. I've 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 actually started one. Like, that, 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 that's top secret information. But, African yeah, name? Yeah, because, man. because why, why I say that is because enough, enough times you, you get a name and you get a meaning. But when you go beyond the meaning, no, the literal meaning, yeah. oftentimes you find that the name has a greater significance culturally. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or, or course, something something. Course, and then sometimes course. there's not a literal meaning, but like um, my daughter, she named Mame Kunedu, and it's, it, the name is tied up with the family. Yeah, so you may not even have a literal meaning. It means this, but yeah. the name you, you, you can go to Kumasi and know where our family come from yeah, to yeah, the name yeah, which you have. Course, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and, and Until I use the ancestry, right? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. So. So yeah, okay. you know what I mean. I uh, give thanks. But yeah, listen to the program, man. Yeah, man, of course, man. Yeah, Long time. Let me tell you from <laughs> the show yeah, again. Yeah, <laughs> but that's why I tell you, you know. So yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what, one text it from three. Uh, uh, Baba Muta, did you hear about or watch on YouTube the UK reparations conference with representatives from the annual African Emancipation Day reparations campaign and stop the Mangamizi was present? No. Okay. Never hear it. Mm-hmm. Where did I do it? Reparation? Yes, sir. Yeah, two weeks ago. 
Yeah, well, we, we are totally in favor of reparation. Mm -hmm. I would say a whole heap of them people there in England yeah, start to feel guilty and start to say they're not okay. <laughs> reparation, you know, that is good. Mm -hmm. You know, we see them gay. We see them gay, the, 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 ma, the mama, them 20 million. Yeah. As part of them reparation. I will know to that no enough still, but it's a step. It's a moving, it's a moving. We see Glasgow University start to apologize and mm -hmm. say they're not going to give so much millions of dollars and some other university in America. So it's a move still because there's a time when, when the bubble them first come and say repatriation, reparation, people are saying foolishness. <laughs> when more when when white people do this mm -hmm. and white people say, no, mm -hmm. but it's a legitimate case. Repatriation, mm -hmm. repatriation. And so much things Prince Emmanuel do to make this thing go out there. Mm -hmm. And people still did ignore it. But now we see the intellectuals them take it out. Mm -hmm. It's just that no one is remembering say Rastafari to I would say Prince Emmanuel. Did I agitate that from a long time? Mm -hmm. You know, see, you have to make them, you have to remind them. Mm -hmm. Just like the ganja thing. Mm -hmm. When them little lick them ganja and beat band people and a man like me when I smoke ganja, three times I go to jail for ganja. Mm -hmm. But me, I tell man, say, Rasta go through something, and that is why I talk about legalizing. Mm -hmm. Right now, we see the government come with that thing named sacramental ganja for Rasta, mm -hmm. where they have 57 different points where Rasta can go and smoke ganja, <laughs> and, smoke ganja. <laughs> and don't get criminalized or get locked up. And they are told that they must arrest Rasta for ganja. And we ask them, this the Minister of National Security and the Minister of um, what I'm called Justice pass through them. Say, yes, it's in the Jamaican Gazette. Mm -hmm. 57 species where Rasta can go and smoke them ganja and use them ganja. Mm -hmm. So that is a step where we never know so that it's not possible. Mm -hmm. That the ganja where we get beaten for and murdered for. Colorado mm -hmm. have the biggest ganja movement that go on. Billions yeah. of dollars make yeah. up for ganja. You know, see? Mm -hmm. Uruguay, all these places. The best ganja people say come from Jamaica. Yeah. Them used to flock by Jamaica for the good, good ganja. Mm -hmm. Now, why people come with this? Well, well, you have to have plant the ganja a certain way and certain way and certain way and call mm -hmm. it medical marijuana and all them something. <laughs> They might put it for name feed. You know, see. That's what I said. But why am I the ganja? It's what the best ganja. People flock for it. No, we see Jamaica import ganja. We can't even talk about that. We can't even tell you about that. We can't even tell you about that. Jamaica import ganja from Canada. That was going to be inevitable, though. Mm -hmm. uh, from, from them to them, are, them are, um, decriminalizing in Jamaica, I knew that was going to be the next thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, importation <laughs> of ganja. You know, say, a former minister of well, not the minister, he was the head of the police force. Mm. He resigned. He was now one of the main exporters <laughs> of ganja. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yes. Legally, yes. you know. Yeah. He was the director of one of the biggest companies then. That. Wait, what's his name? We can't talk him name, man. You can't talk him name? I mean, we can't talk him name, you know, but. Yeah. So in, in, in illegal. Listen, in illegal. Listen, illegal. Listen uh, to IRA from my way. All right. All right. Okay. I tell you, say. You're not talking about Leng? No, no. Go on, go on. I'm not talking about Leng. I'm not talking about Leng. I'm Leng. Leng and the thing. Yeah, yeah, that was it. I say, it's the biggest. It was, it was the man who had prosecuted people about Ganja, lock up people. Yeah. Ganja, you know? No, man. And now, right. him is one of the directors yeah. of one of the companies that was illegally. Yeah. Said that them can't deal with the danger thing. Okay. I mean, I said, older man, they sleep when they go to bed. I'm going to check it for Mr. Adams. I'm going to check it for Mr. Adams. Adam, 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 Got another call on the line. Before we do that, let me go to the text again. The Haven of Empress Anwar, Galaxy Management. Indeed. indeed. Rising beloved great vibes. She also says, Rasimo Earth Day today. We mentioned Hail Up Rasimo. It's today. today. Oh, Rasimo. Alongside Rasimo as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rasimo. We have a family in the in the house as well, Empress Anua. Yeah, yeah. Rasimo family. Yes, sir. Give thanks and praises. We're gonna go to the lines two, three, four. Uh we haven't got much time. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Greetings, greetings and venerizing day. This is Sister Empress. Mm, I'm just Empress. calling and give thanks for Al Kabalan mm. this night here mm. and throughout keeping the great work ahead. Mm. And um, I hear um, Elder Muta Baruka is on. He is right now. Greetings, greetings. Now, as, as you were speaking about um, reparation and so forth, and just now, I just wanted to ask about any update with the mass on the massacre that took place in the Bad Friday? What is the you know you're coming out fresh off of out of JA? So I wanted to find out what is the government if there's any, anything you could say upon that because the rust has been attacked, you know. Mm-hmm. So we want to know yeah. about that. All right. Well, give, give the, ra- the, the government do a little flimsy apology. Yeah. And them offer the elders them who are still alive. Mm-hmm. Since them did that, I will be the elder them who did in, involved with the Macaral Garden thing. Mm-hmm. Some of them dead, but mm-hmm. some of them still alive. Right, right. I think them give a hundred million dollars mm-hmm. to help these brethren. So you have a group in a Montego Bay where I take care of them. Mm-hmm. So they have a, 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 a place. Mm-hmm where the elder them there who have them family mm-hmm. go back to them family mm-hmm. and each of them get I don't remember if a hundred thousand dollars a month or something mm-hmm. for help them everyday thing and them doctor bill and them something there. Mm-hmm. So that is what happened mm-hmm. right now, right mm-hmm. now say mm-hmm. yeah the, the the elders them who's alive now is getting money mm-hmm. to really take care of them everyday life. Okay. Mm-hmm. But most of them dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of them dead. Absolutely. Because yeah. I and my grandfather and grandmother died too, dead. You know, we were from Coral Garden. Yeah. I and I know the place very well. I did. So we grew up. I did. So family barn and so forth. So um, what about the offspring? Because, you know, um, when our eldest sister is the one that our mother had to run with. Mm. And when our mother was attacked, and she passed as well, you know, um, and and they chop her foot and all that, and our grand aunt, mm. yeah, which, which is my mother, which is my granny's um, sister, mm. her husband was the one who was wrapped up in the mattress. So we uh, want. Oh, she signed it. We have lost a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We have lost a lot. Yeah. In our family, we've lost a lot. Yeah. It's a big story. Yes. You know, and. Um, it's a big story because our two eldest brother, they were Rasta children. Yeah. You know, they had the lock. The government attacked them, took them off our parents, and a lot of things. Yes. So, yes, yeah, so there's a, you know, there's a lot of grievance, really, that they need to address with us as a family as well. Of course. And they even come down in, in many different ways, and I can't even talk about it on the, um, on here because I feel that they, they know when they check it and see check it and see who the, after a while who the parents was and how they survive and how they rise and so forth. They send certain other old people to come inside and cheer down. There's a lot of things that corruption that has gone on. So we are those children and we are still alive apart from our elder brothers who have gone on. And they suffer because they took, they took them into, um, into social services and abused yes, our brothers. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. No, you know, there's a lot of things that happen and, it's, and, it's, and it's the government has covered it up. Yeah? yeah, so it's like the eldest sister now. We're gonna deal with that because she's gonna step out and go down sometime, and that has got to rise because we're still Rasta inside inside our family, dear, over there. Yeah, we are still we we tread that yeah. way. The brothers they tread the road. Yes, so there's a lot of things that happen, and and you know the the our yard was was next to Ali Palmer, you know. Uh, that devilish place. So we used to sing them little songs when we was young, Pitney, right? Because they used to take us back up the Coral Gardens and Iron Shore and show us the place, yeah? So mm-hmm. we know that. So it, wasn't, it was just a stone throw mm-hmm. from, it was a, just a stone throw from, from the, the Great House. You know you what I'm saying? It, and we used to go into that place all the time. Give thanks, it's so impressive. We, we, the offspring, we need to know did it, what the government is doing because it, it can't just take us up because what they have done is really take it and give it to Wazungu. Mm-hmm. Indeed, 
And like I said, this you... Empress, a bit too much for us to do with right now. We are, we are almost at 10 o'clock. So um, we certainly we're going to deal with this issue again yeah, if we come back. Yes, yes. Um, we have to come back with this, but um, we do need to wrap up now. I want to go to L.D. Emanuel again, just to remind the listeners where they can catch Muta Baruka. Um, okay, thank you. You can catch the great philosopher no, tomorrow. Catch him over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tomorrow at um, Pempamsi Wartham Store, mm-hmm. uh, 375 Cold Street, mm-hmm. between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m., mm-hmm. where he will be signing books. And then on Wednesday, he will be in Pempamsi Lewisham. Signing books as well from 5 to 7 p.m. But the big day of all days is Friday, where he will be at uh, Lambert Town Hall, Brixton. Tickets are 25 pounds. You can get them on Eventbrite. You better grab them, otherwise, you'll pay more at the door. Mm-hmm. So we go to www.eventbrite.co.uk. And then on Saturday, uh, he will be in Birmingham. Mm-hmm. Also, you can get the tickets on the Eventbrite. So if you have friends and relations there, I'll tell them about, about the two shows. And we see you. We want you to all turn up and give the great one a big a welcome and a send off at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give thanks and oh, praise. Uh, Fushinali continue. We'll be broadcasting Stephen Will and continue live from London. Okay. Wednesday and Thursday, so you can tune into that. Mm-hmm. You know, say it's late hours there. Mm-hmm. Not ten in no, Jamaica. No matter. Uh, All right. Yeah, it, it and, three, and three his, his book, The Rebel Source Man, is a great book. It's a great read. Mm-hmm. I've uh, uh, flicked through, mm-hmm. and it's a lot of but have interesting. You read, have you read it, my brother? Have you read it? He, 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 he said he fit through a bro- brother through. Nile. So, yeah, he said he fit through. But it's yeah. a great book. So, uh, not what one of uh, the things that we don't do, we don't document our history properly. We leave it to other people mm-hmm. to do it for us. Mm-hmm. And in his own words, and that of other co writers, mm-hmm. he's been able to document his work that is spread. Uh, spreading over three decades. Mm-hmm. So grab your copy. You can go to www.blackhistorybooks.uk and uh, if you come to the show and you are lucky, you'll get a copy because we don't have that many. Mm-hmm. And I'm serious about that. <laughs> <laughs> My fear is that even before we go to Birmingham, we will run out. Oh. And also, it's a uh, first book, mm. the first poems and the next poems. Mm. Mm. We have very, very limited yeah. a quantity available. Mm. We'll have that one, that's cool. So it's over to you, brethren and sisters. Okay. Uh, yeah. See you all there on Friday and possibly in Birmingham yeah. on Saturday as well. Thank you. And give thanks and praise your sisters and brothers. Just to let you know as well, next year, as I said earlier, 40 years of Galaxy of oh, yeah. And um, we want to try and ensure we can get Muta Baruka over for our main celebration. That's going to be on the, is it the 8th of June oh, of yeah, Muta. Yeah. What it is? Um, it's really just celebrating 40 years what's of Galaxy. What's the celebration? What's the celebration? Yeah. 40 years, See, 40 of, years of Galaxy, Galaxy no, Radio. What kind of celebration? Go, go, dancing. <laughs> reggae music. No, no, no. no. Deep, deep, jungle, deep, deep. what kind of thing? What kind of celebration? Oh, the Pe- brain washing, pure what? consciousness. Eh? It's, it's the parents and ancestors. Parents and ancestors day. So it's something we do every year. Now. Parents and ancestors day. We on our parents and ancestors. So it's okay. a cultural uplifting day. Okay. But okay. next year it combines with forty years of the galaxy of Fiwi. That so is beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. So you want to try and ensure we get Mutabaruka in the house for to break with us as well. Give thanks and praises. Any last words, uh, Mutabaruka? Last word for, to, for the show, <laughs> not, not, not in your life, not for your life, just for the show. Well, the only thing we can say really is that we give thanks to Emmanuel for really uh, promote this thing out, uh, you mm. know, and we hope that the people them 
come out on yeah. Friday in Brixton mm -hmm. to really take part in this occasion. Because the only well, could you, could time we ever perform here. Could you give us the, the, brother, in brother a now? No, no, yeah. we're, not, we're done with the coolness. The Sorry. First place we ever perform in London. Mm -hmm. And trust me, you will go away with something in like your brain. Mm -hmm. That of is either going to bother you. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to think about it to the point where it mm -hmm. bigger, bigger. have a healing. You understand? Mm -hmm. Most time it bother people. <laughs> but good is it bad? Doubt is good. Mm -hmm. Because doubt leads you to go investigate things. Mm -hmm. Other people say, boy, I'm not doubt. Not, you know, I doubt a whole heap of things. Mm -hmm. But because I doubt it, I go search for some book and listen to some people at that. Even the dumb and ignorant of them story. Mm -hmm. So we work with that. Continuously. Mm -hmm. That is my what you call last word. We give thanks and praises. Brother Leader Ben Daco, we've gone over time, so any uh, final, final comment from yourself, Brother Leader? It has been a great and powerful uh, show this evening. We give thanks and praises for the presence. Uh, we hail our elder Emmanuel uh, again, and we give thanks and praises for the presence of Brother Mutabaruka. And not just his physical presence, but his, his essence of being, his, his, his energies. And on the subject of, and, and for reinforcing the black print of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey. We tend to say black print rather than blueprint. And on the subject of energy and essence, uh, I want to suggest that that could be another term for spirit. And in that sense, going back to the question that Brother um, Kwame asked about <clears throat> the present, whether the, the spirit of Kwame Nkrumah is present in Ghana as a spirit of a vampire, and I know that Brother Mutabaruka uh, can, he deals with semantics in a very literal way, and I understand why. <clears throat> but I also understand the essence of the question that Brother um, Kwame asked. Uh, and, and what he's talking about the, the, is the spirit, the energy force the lasting legacy of Kwame Nkrumah, is it still alive and detectable in Ghana? I've been to Ghana a dozen times. I can say, yes, it is very much there. Uh, but unfortunately, the other part of the question is also true. The spirit of the vampire, the blood sucker. If we look at it as a metaphor for the, 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 the oppressors, the exploiters, the downtrodders of, um, of Europe and America, their presence is very much in Ghana. Um, presently battling with the spirit, the lasting legacy, the energy force that has, that uh, Kwame Nkrumah has left behind. I close, as always, with the words of the most eminent prophet and king, His Excellency Marcus Messiah Garvey. Unite, organize now, or perish. Rise, you mighty, mighty African people, for you can accomplish whatever you will. Rumbidzo kuna mwariye Africa. To the God of Africa be the glory. Tendai mwari. Tendai mwari. Give thanks, Brother Lida Bandaka. Give thanks. Sisters and brothers, this has been Africa Speaks with Al Kebelan here on the Big G. Join us again next strong between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. where we talk it straight and make it plain. Next, sisters and brothers, is the one and only SG Vibes. Around here we say, Tendai mwari. <laughs>